Hello students now we will be solving memory based questions of gate 19 for more video solution on gate 19 subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click bell icon for instant notification Hello my dear students I am Santosh in this video we are going to see a question from engineering mathematics from the chapter of vector calculus first of all let me read the question the scalar function f of x comma y comma z is equal to 2x cube plus 3y square plus 4z the integral of the gradient of f dot dr over the curve formed by the segments minus 3 comma minus 3 comma 2 to the point which is 2 comma minus 3 comma 2 and from there you have to do it 2 comma 6 comma 2 and from there you are going to do it 2 comma 6 comma minus 1 if you are observing carefully in the first part we are having the value of y and z are same only x is changing in the second part if you observe the value of y is changing whereas x and z are remain the same in the third part if you observe only the value of z is changing the remaining x and y are going to remain the same first of all let us find the gradient of f the gradient of f is given by do by do x of the function which is going to be 6x square in the x direction do by do y in the y direction So it is going to be six y in the y direction, and here do by do z, I am going to get four in the z direction. Now when I do del cross del del f dot dr, so it will result in six x square dx plus six y dy plus four dz. Right. So now. If you see six x square dx plus integral six y dy. Now, if you closely observe, the first one is applicable for the first one. Here only y is changing, second one, and here only x is changing. I mean z is changing, third one. Whereas in the first part, x and y values, I mean y and z values are constant. And only x is changing. So let me write six x power three by three, where the value of x is changing from minus three to the value of two. In the second part, six y square by two, where the value of y is changing from minus three to the value of six. And in the third part, four z, and z is changing from two to the value of minus one. So here, this is two times eight plus twenty-seven. Three times it off. Thirty-six minus nine plus four times it off minus three. So here the value is seventy, and here the value is eighty-one minus twelve, which comes to be one thirty-nine. So the answer for this question is one thirty nine because it's a numerical answer question. So the range will be from one thirty nine to one thirty nine. I hope this question is useful for you. Please don't forget to like and share the video. Thank you.